I'm Keaton Anna, and I'm in third grade. This is my sister Molly and she's in first grade. And this is my mom Renee. With the help of many St. Perpetua families, we recently donated a collection of books to the St. Perpetua Library that promote inclusivity and highlight the stories of African American characters, fictional and non-fictional. This collection of books was inspired by my good friend and former St. Perpetua teacher, Meg Honey, and the work she's doing with Rise Up Walnut Creek. When I approached Mrs. Hinton, she embraced the idea and was already working on a collection of her own. During this time of reckoning in our country, I find books really helpful in discussing these hard topics with young children. We hope you have a chance to check out one of these awesome books and that they inspire conversations of equality and compassion in your home. Bye everybody. Bye. So as the Moran family just mentioned, we do have a number of books that focus on diverse characters and help you to understand what it's like to have a different life experience than perhaps your own. One of our new books right here is called Mommy's Kimar. Uh, it's a very charming story of a mom and her daughter. And I love some of these um, illustrations that show her playing with Mommy's Kimar in different ways to um, make her feel good about herself. We also have a book by Barack Obama, A Letter to My Daughters, and it's called Of The I Sing. One of the new books in our collection is Be Who You Are by Todd Parr. I love the way he uses these bright neon colors that really pop and make his characters stand out. Reminds me of other books that we have written by Todd Parr. Dreamers. Um, the a bio, biographical story of artist Yuyi Morales talking about her family of immigrants coming up from South America. All Are Welcome reminds me of the church song that we sing sometimes at the intro of Mass where we say All Are Welcome. Um, and this is a lovely story that focuses on the fact that all of us are welcome. Fry Bread, an award winner, a Native American family story. Um, this is one that we got uh, last year right before the school closed down, so I'm not sure if many people have had a chance to borrow it and really take a look at this book yet. Drawn Together, nice story about a boy and his grandfather who find that the thing they have in common is artwork and drawing. And you can see that um, some of the artwork is done in comic panels, which is the graphic novel style. Hair Love, one of our new books this year. Um, I know I've talked about this one before. It is a Pixar, I think it's Pixar, a short um, movie. And this is the book that inspired that movie. Separate is Never Equal. This is a book we've had for a few years. Um, that talks about Sylvia Mendez and her family's fight for desegregation so that the children of the Mexican farm workers weren't attending a lesser school than everybody else. Enough is a new book, uh, 20 Protesters Who Changed America. Um, it's a collective biography about different people who've made a difference in our country. And it's pretty uh, basic the way that the text is written. So Martin had a dream. Cesar and Dolores said no grapes. And so it gives you an idea of the uh, reading level of that book. The Day You Begin, a sweet story written by Jacqueline Woodson, one of the new books we had last year, again, right before we closed down for the pandemic. Lovely artwork on that as well by Rafael Lopez. Not quite Norwal. Um, I love stories like this that um, are a gentle reminder that sometimes we are different and ways that we can feel good about ourselves. And this book, what I love about it is the cover sparkles. So for those of you that like a little sparkle with your story, this might be the one for you. Uh, Maya Lin, this is a biography of the architect who created the Vietnam Veterans Memorial. Um, I usually like to read this one 
uh, around um, Memorial Day, which we didn't really get to do this year. Um, so this is, uh, this is a nice one for Veterans um, Day, which is coming up soon. That is my dream is uh, where this illustrator has taken a poem written by Langston Hughes and turned it into a lovely children's picture book. Uh, Misty Copeland, always popular with our dancer students, and this one is called Firebird. Ballerina Misty Copeland shows a young girl how to dance like the Firebird, and you can see it won a Coretta Scott King Award. So Noah Chases the Wind, another new book in our collection for diverse books. Um, this is a boy who I believe has um, autism and gives you some perspective of what that would be like. Thank You, Omu is a book that won the Caldecott Honor last year, and uh, we even used this for Literacy Night, and it's a nice message about how rich our lives are when we share what little we have with others. Last Stop on Market Street won, uh, as you can see, three medals, and um, one of them being the um, Caldecott and one being the Newberry Award, which is very unusual for a picture book. But it really is a lovely, delightful story of a young boy and his grandmother um, who don't have much and yet still find ways to be positive and to think of others. Why Johnny Doesn't Flap, NT is okay. NT stands for neurotypical. And again, another nice story about a... Um, a child with disability and it's told from the child with a disabilities point of view explaining how he feels. Uh, Julius Lester let's talk about race. Um, this book talks very specifically about skin color and differences in how we look and yet the bottom line message of this story is that we all have the same bones in our body, and so we all are the same on the inside. Another Todd Parr, It's Okay to Be Different. Uh, again, just love his use of color. Each Kindness by Jacqueline Woodson. I love to use this story, um, it, particularly when students are having a hard time with friendships at school. Um, because it really helps to get the point across of how important it is to nurture um, our friendships. Lillian's Right to Vote. This was a California Young Reader Medal nominee last year. Um, it's a fictional story, but has a lot of factual information about in it about the challenges that African Americans have faced over the years wanting to have the right to vote. And finally, These Hands is a lovely story. Again, a grandfather with his grandson um, talking about all the wonderful things they can do with their hands. So please uh, check out and borrow some of these new books that we have in our Diverse Books collection. I think that if you do, you'll be very happy um, with these stories.